All right, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a standard automotive coolant sensor, which is just a basic thermistor and an industrial casing. And what I'm trying to achieve here is use this sensor, interpret it with an Arduino microcontroller and output some readable temperature value. Um, the problem with this though is thermistors, um, they change resistance based on temperature and with the Arduino, you can't read resistance, you read, you read voltage. So what you have to do with the Arduino is set up a voltage, voltage divider circuit, and then you read the voltage and interpret it somehow um, with an equation to, to get readable um, resistance and then temperature. So what I have to do with this I know that thermistor curves, temperature resistance curves, are non-linear. Um, you need to put some sort of equation to that curve to be able to uh, reference certain values at certain temperatures. So there's an equation called the Steinhardt-Hart equation that you can use to reference that very similar curve of the temperature and resistance values um, for that sensor. So in order to use this equation, you need to find these three constants, A, B, and C. But to get those constants, um, you need some sort of uh, reference to your thermistor. So I'm going to use three key points. So what I'm doing is at room t temperature, which is 22 degrees off of this uh, thermometer, I've measured the resistance with my multimeter and wrote down the resistance so that's changed a little bit i'll just have to make sure that's right but at whatever temperature is room temperature right now i'll take that resistance reading and then what i'll do is i'll take some water put it in the freezer get that temperature and then get its um resistance reading and then i'll also get the temperature at boiling point so when water is boiling and then i'll take that resistance reading and then i can plug those constants into this equation <clears throat> and then I can resolve for um, sorry so I can input the resistance value that's coming off of uh, the sensor into the Arduino and then I can solve for temperature and then using the Arduino I can at any point or any resistance I can find out what the temperature is on that sensor. All right so I've put some water in, into this uh, this pot here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the freezer and let it get down to near freezing and then I'll take the resistance and temperature readings. All right, so while I'm waiting, I've got the wires hooked up and coming out to my multimeter. And you can see as the temperature is going down, the resistance is going up. Right now it's in about 4.4 thousand ohms and slowly rising. So there's two types of thermistors that you can, uh, you can purchase. Ones on these automotive coolant sensors are all going to be the same. Um, they're called NTC uh, type thermistors, and they're negative temperature coefficient, I believe is what the acronym stands for. But it's as the temperature goes down, the resistance increases, and the other type of thermistor is the opposite. When the temperature goes down, the resistance will decrease. All right, I just finished getting all the temperature resistance values, so now I'm going to go over to Excel and plot this. All right, so these automotive coolant sensors come in two different forms. Um, they'll either come in a form with one wire and the ground will be through the casing in the engine block, or they'll come in this two wire form factor where you apply um, the voltage to one wire and then the other wire goes to ground. So like I said before, in order to hook this up with a Arduino, you need to do a voltage divider. So that way you can input voltage into one of the analog pins on the Arduino and reference it and use it somehow. So in this circuit, what I've done is I've applied, so, okay, so I have five volts going through these resistors and then one of these wires after it comes through those resistors goes to A0 on the Arduino and then the other wire is going to the positive on the sensor and then the ground on the sensor is just going straight to the ground on the Arduino. So this way you're dividing, you have a voltage divider circuit and you can read 
um, in the middle of that circuit straight to the Arduino. And I'll show a diagram of a voltage divider circuit here in a second. All right, so here's your basic voltage divider circuit. Like I said, so five volts is coming in and then I'm going through, in this case, uh, the resistors that are fixed. And then down here, this is your coolant sensor. So that goes to ground and then you have another wire coming out and then that goes to A0 on the Arduino. So you can read that voltage and um, take note. So if you want to read, have some readable value to the Arduino, what you want to do is before you hook up the circuit, take a resistance measurement between both wires of your coolant sensor and then put in a resistor of similar value. So in this case, I measured roughly 2.7K resistance on that um, coolant sensor at room temperature. And then I put in 2.7K worth of um, resistors on this side of that circuit. So that way, when you input it into the Arduino, you're uh, roughly at the middle point range of readable values that you can use between zero and 1023. Okay, so I'm gonna be running through the Excel spreadsheet now, but first I'm going to show you this, uh, the Wikipedia page for the Steinhardt Hart equation. Uh, and in here it breaks down uh, the equation itself and then how to find the constants in that equation. So that's the hard part. So what I've done here is I've taken how to find those Steinhardt Hart coefficients and I've plugged these equations into Excel. And then I'll also link down below the page for the voltage divider. Um, I use this in the Arduino code to find um, the correct values for resistance and analog um, <clears throat> coming into the Arduino. So I use this equation in there. And I'll show you on my notepad in a second. So coming over to the Excel spreadsheet, um, after finding the raw data with the sensor, I've plugged it into a quick chart here. So these are my raw data values of temperature and resistance, and I've plotted it. So as you can see here, as the temperature increases, the resistance also decreases, and it's more refined in the higher temperatures, which is, um, for my application, I want to use it like in a vehicle, a coolant sensor. Um, that's why they're designed this way, <laughs> to be more refined at the higher temperatures. So um, the raw data is in dark blue, and then the Steinhardt Hart equation is in orange. So as you can see, it matches the data really closely, and then this dotted line is a, a third or order uh, polynomial. So you could use a third or fourth or order polynomial equation and, <coughs> and plug that into uh, the Arduino code, but the Steinhardt Hart um, equation actually matches the raw data quite well. So coming over to here, how did I find those uh, Steinhardt Hart um, constants? Well, using those equations, um, you pick three temperatures from the raw data that you've collected and their corresponding resistance resistances. And then using those three um, values, you plug them into um, those equations off that Wikipedia page. So it's the natural log logarithms of these numbers. And then coming down here, y1, y2, and 3 is the inverses of the temperatures and then gamma one or gamma two and gamma three have their own respective equations which which are here and then the constant calculations themselves I didn't write the equations down but they're off that Wikipedia page for a B and C so they're three quite small numbers all right so this is the equation one over T and then you convert it by taking the inverse to find temperature and that's in Kelvins and then minus 273.15 to get that temperature in Celsius. So that is at this resistance value. So you can actually check and see if your equation is right based on the resistances and temperatures that you've put in. So down here at four degrees Celsius, I had a resistance of 6,000 ohms. So if I put in 6,000 ohms, 
the output of that equation is 4 degrees. And then I'll do the same for the other values. 240, we get 56, which makes sense here. And then 197, and I get 99 degrees. So that makes sense using the three temperature and resistance values. So then I plotted, um, <coughs> I plotted that equation, the outputs of that equation in temperatures using those um, the same resistance values, and and then that's how I came up with this graph, and that's why um, those values make sense with the steinhardt hart equation. So now that I've confirmed that this coolant sensor makes sense. Um, using that equation, then I can plug it into the Arduino code and get the output values. Okay, so now I'm going to run through the code. So up here we define the value of the other resistors in the voltage divider setup on the, on the breadboard. And then this is the pin, the analog pin that the um, voltage divider out is going into and then number of samples. Um, we take a number of samples down here as an average of all the readings um, to smooth it out. These three constants were determined in the Excel spreadsheet. Down here, um, we're defining a variable to store in the number of samples as we go through um, the loop. Um, void setup, serial.begin for our, our serial monitor void loop, and then we come down here, um, define some variables for um, our average, and then going through to take our averages for the readings. So we take a reading off our analog pin. Um, in this case, we're doing five readings. Then we come down here, and we're adding those five readings together, and then we're dividing by five. So we get our average of those five readings. And then down here, we print off um, that analog reading. So this is the analog value between 0 and 1,023. And then this equation is the conversion equation between the analog value and, and the resistance from the voltage divider. So I'll show you that on my notepad in a second. Um, but it's a quick calculation from the voltage divider equation and the equation for the analog input pin on the Arduino. And then here, next line of the code is um, just to display that value. And then down here we, um, we're pretty much just laying out the Steinhardt equation and then converting um, converting the, the temperature from kelvins to celsius and then we're displaying it down here all right here's the equation um, breaking down from the conversion of the analog value to resistance i'm not going to go into detail about this but uh, adafruit has a short example on their therm thermistor page that describes this equation a little bit um, but this is just me breaking it down if you want to look through it. Okay, now we're going to do a quick example on the serial monitor and show you that we have our average analog coolant reading coming in the analog value, so that's the value between 0 and 1023, and then we've our conversion to resistance, so um, it's showing our resistance value is about 2500 right now, and then using the Steinhardt, Steinhardt equation, the temperature output in Celsius in this room right now, off of that sensor is 23.75 degrees Celsius. All right, so that uh, just runs through the whole um, coolant sensor and Arduino interface. And I hope this helps if you're trying to do something that's similar. This is uh, part of a larger project that I'm working on, which is to interface a whole bunch of analog sensors on my truck and display them onto some OLED screens. So now that I've tackled this coolant sensor, um, the next thing I'm going to be looking at is this uh, air temperature sensor. And as you can see, it actually has a thermistor inside of it. It's just a different type of casing. So the calculations and, and coding on Arduino are going to be quite similar. 
and using the same um, Steinhardt equation and everything. So here's another quick look. So we're getting nice readings coming out of there. I guess we'll uh, move on to the next video shortly. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more.